Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Fantastic. Good morning. What a lovely place I, with a lovely coffee. bunch I'm of people happy. today. Yeah. Are you having your coffee? Is everybody yeah, good? Thanks. Ready? Best coffee in Absolutely. This place. Well, I, I tried doing my best. I mean, if that's what you call the best coffee, I mean, yes. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Thank you very much. You guys Nothing are good. that Thai instant coffee in the morning. We are trying to be nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. First of all, I would like you guys to introduce yourself one by one. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Raise your hand. Okay. Yeah, Please yeah. tell us about yourself, who you are, what do you do? Uh, Not that you need any introduction, but you know, okay, just for yeah, people yeah, who don't yeah. know you. I, I just concentrate. I know. I'm everything and nothing. I'm playing a lot of roles and I'm create the story with you. Nice. And today I'm here as the director of the movie we are talking about. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm so excited, excited to know about yeah. this movie already. <laughs> so Heard my, a few things. Um, my name is Olga Lievska. Nice. I'm a Ukrainian born director and actress. Wow. And I'm so happy to be here and met you guys because this is really new experience. And a dream and team, new, as yeah. far as I can see it. Yeah, it's true. It's true because this is a next step, a new generation of cinematography. Nice. Yeah. And you, yeah, the girl? That's what we're doing here. And I'm Anastasia, I'm actress and producer, and I've produced. Uh, all these previous uh, short films free? as well. Free, free, free. free. And here we are doing a completely new <laughs> thing, yeah. and that's very exciting. So we have two actors and a director, and please tell us about um, yourself. I'm Eve, and these lovely ladies and I just managed to really, really connect this summer, and they asked me to be part of this project and to come on as a producer, and I was just like, absolutely. I read the script, and I was like, this is so different. But this is so special, and I also was oh. like, "You guys are so special. All I want to be is yeah. part of your team." Yeah. Oh, so, thank you. I mean, I we, we, so, we would yeah. talk about the script in a bit, you know, but we have to introduce one more guy right here. Um, my Please name tell is us Al, about yourself. Al Cadulo. Uh, I'm an immersive storyteller and filmmaker. Wow. Um, and this is a fantastic opportunity. Anastasia was the one who kind of introduced me to this group. Okay. And I'm so excited <laughs> to be part of this because we are doing something very groundbreaking. Okay. And I'll let them talk about that first. Okay, so you guys, oh. like, you look like you guys knew each other before you produced films together. Like, yeah. how did you get introduced with Olga before? How well, did you guys get connected? We had a friend yeah. and she said, uh, you have to meet Eve. And I was like, I had a feeling I'm going to meet Eve like somebody named Eve very soon. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and, and there she was. And there you go. And for me as well, it's words like, uh, you know, I have a Eve with myself. This is like a main topic. This is like something from the beginning in All our has, life. And the and email title in Russian, which literally translates yes. as Eve with you. Yeah. Eve with you. Like, yeah. This yeah. is the first time so Eve is with you. Why? That is nice. Yeah. That is Eve nice. Are with us it was destined. So it's it's happy like a destiny. Yeah, it's right. like a special right. connection. See, because wow. Eve, she has the boy, translates as Eve with mm -hmm. you, and she has it in transliteration mm -hmm. in English, and she's using wow. this email for like 10 years Absolutely. by now. That's yeah. very cool. Yeah. She's been waiting for you. As I said, it is a dream team yeah, already. Yeah, it's like a dream team. All, all around this film, actually, everything like a magic. Everything really connects. Yes. Connects. connects. And the movie is about connection. Oh, Absolutely. sweet. Okay. So, would you like to tell us a little bit about the movie, okay. Olga? What is the it about? Working... What inspired you to do that? Yeah. And how did you come up with this idea? Okay. Working title is um, Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk? Yes. <laughs> wow, Pillow Talk. Okay. Uh, Interesting. And, and we're working on the soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> She's the lead singer of... Yes. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Things are getting somewhere. Okay. Uh, if talking about all this story, this is uh, like a modern fairy tale. Okay. A oh, myth. myth yes. A mythical if, fairy tale, if, okay. Yeah, if... Uh, then if uh, the... Um, speaking a foreign language is sexually transmitted. Sexually huh? transmitted? Yeah. It sounds like something else. Um, Tell us, I mean, would you like to explain that? Because I, I don't think if I totally understand sexually transmitted. I'd like to think of it as learning through intimacy. 
Learning yeah, through intimacy. Yeah, okay, that's a nice yeah. way to put it. it yeah, All right. Al, absolutely right. This is more about art, about our understanding, about coming through our body, from our heart, from our soul. Do you mean understanding other people or understanding your own self or connection with other people? The, a little of all of it. You, you know. A little bit of all of it? Okay. And I know the with other people why. and even with yourself. Because you can't truly connect with anyone if you're not in connection with your Absolutely. Absolutely. Totally so agree on that. Totally you, agree you, on you, that. You know, and the main idea of this is uh, all around languages. Uh, why the people who speak in the same language cannot understand each other? Right. Still why? can't communicate. Why? Yeah. Why can't, uh, absolutely. Why? In my hometown, in my home country, this is a huge deal. And this is hard time for my country with all this... Uh, uh, yeah, unconnected. It's like the, the, current, the current political conflict is kind of based on Absolutely. people being miscommunication. Yeah. 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 yeah, like yeah. The part of Ukraine being speaking Russian, Absolutely. part of Ukraine speaking Ukrainian. And they're trying to base a conflict on Yeah, it? Uh, absolutely. And um, this is, you, you know, how people manipulate each other and start the war in my country. Uh, uh, of, of course, I don't speak in about the war in my film. I speak in about love. Connection. And, and connection. And about let's focus in love, in our life. Totally agree. I really think, though, it goes beyond just your country. I think it's a worldwide World phenomenon thing, right exactly. now. Exactly. Where exactly. you have people who even speak the same language that are on such opposite sides and they They're can't seem to on communicate with yeah. each other. There's no connection between people. Absolutely, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why we have a lot of um, nationalities in our uh, steam. And a yeah, lot we have like a, a truly multinational yeah. cast. Multi yeah. Okay, we're, so we're you're, you're more like bringing people together. Yeah, we're in the process nice. of like confirming nice. the actors and doing some test tapes right now. But so far, the, the people mm -hmm. we're thinking of, the people we're talking with, and those how, who we have already confirmed, are all like uh, different nationalities, different races, right. and different, different languages as well. Languages and we, as well. Right, yeah, mm -hmm. and they all are gonna speak different languages in the in mm -hmm. the in the script and the yeah. film. I mean, if you look at the set right now, we all kind of speak different languages. Yeah, we do at all, actually. So, so it's, it's a very mixed crowd. Yeah. It's already like okay. she speaks LA. Yeah, I speak LA. Yeah, yeah, you speak LA. I speak Vegas. I thought, I, I thought we speak American and they speak Russian. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's call it that way. All right, well, you speak LA. Yeah. Okay, but nice. you see, like adding all of these different languages into the film, uh, it doesn't it doesn't make you understand it less. You could hear all these different languages, and you're still going to understand What's exactly going on. what those people are feeling. Mm -hmm. I, I and totally agree on what, that. What the whole point of this film is. To show a connection, to show feelings, logic, you know, and language, that is, that is nothing compared to a connection. I yeah. mean, in, in my country, we say like, if the whole world spoke the same language and ate the same food, the world would be a boring place. Yep. The reason you travel <laughs> is to see different Absolutely. things and experience different yeah. things, you know, otherwise every place would be the same place. Yeah. And one of the unique things about this film is that we're going to be shooting this in VR. This is going to be a VR 180. Yeah. Yeah. Very important. Uh, and and with the R180, yes. 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 one of the reasons exactly. I'm in. Uh, one of the great things about VR is that it, you know, it's been, it's been called the empathy machine because what it does is it makes the audience feel more connected to what's going on in the scene around them. You become part of it. We're even shooting this interview in VR, VR right now, exactly. and we're recording it in ambisonic sound, which is oh. a 3D sound system. Tell us more about system. that ambisonic sound. I mean, I, I know a little bit about VR coming from a gaming perspective, mm -hmm. but tell us more about this whole VR well, first video of all, and movie thing. VR 180 is much more like traditional filmmaking, okay. except that you have 3D. What's interesting about that is that instead of having to put on the glasses and look at it on a 3D TV or go to the movie theater and put on the glasses and see it in 3D, 3D VR 180 bridges all of that, much like the movie bridges the connections. If you're watching this film on a phone, it's in 2D and it looks pretty cool. Right. You watch it on a TV or a PC and again, it's in 2D and you're watching it very cool. But right. if you slip on something like the Oculus Quest headset, all of a sudden you are in the film. Yeah. Okay. And ambisonic sound goes hand in hand with all of this. 
ambisonic sound is considered 3D sound. So instead of having just like with surround sound, you have front, back, left, right. Right. It takes it even further. It creates another dimension so that the sound tracks as you're looking. And as you turn your head, the sound will follow and still stay in the same position. So instead of just being on the left, maybe if I'm up higher, the sound will come down. So you have six degrees of sound. It's more immersive, you know, exactly. Right. And, all and your senses, the, you know. It brings it all together. Right. 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 Left, right? And yeah. you, you have everything. And if I get it right, we're one of the pioneers for using it. Yes, it's one of the first times. It's been around for a while, but not very many productions out there have used utilized it because until now there weren't a lot of ways to be able to hear it. Do you think uh, people again, see it as a risk? I don't like trying something different? No, because I saw it as a magic because you know when exactly. I wrote the script, I used it even the first words when we heard on a cinematography and the voice on the cinematography, I used these lines uh, and but this yes, is... It's, it starts with just the sound over black. And that's okay. the lines that were used in All the first sound time. film in the world. Right. We're quoting that. Yep. One of our hopes is actually to inspire other filmmakers that are just trying to get out there to just actually go in and try it. Because once you go in and try 180, oh my god, it becomes so easy. It becomes easier than I think than the standard. I can even I can only imagine that. You know, thinking thinking like, okay, do you think people will feel that it is a little bit difficult to film in 3D? And 180 VR. That's actually the, the, from, the interesting from, thing about it is that it's it's really not much different because okay, if you're shooting in 360 VR, then if you see the camera, the camera sees you, right. and so that presents some interesting challenges for a filmmaker. But shooting in VR 180, <coughs> you have a behind the scenes, you have a behind the camera shot. So the director, the crew can be behind the camera, you can have lighting, you can have all the usual accoutrements and, and enhancements that you use in 2D filmmaking, you can have in VR 180. Yeah. So it's, like I said, it's, it's, think of it as kind of the first step into the VR world. It gives you a way to go ahead and present. For instance, if you were shooting this in 360, why would you bother looking over there when somebody's over here talking? So it becomes a different way of filming. Whereas VR 180, we're using a lot of the same things that we do in normal 2D right. filmmaking. We're doing it here. Now, one of the interesting Just points better. that I thought was cool is that yeah. this is, in part, we're doing this thanks to Olger's 10-year-old son. And yeah. I think you should tell him <laughs> about that. Absolutely. So yeah, you, you know, I, this is like, a, uh, you, you want to hear a real life from from the kids, it's true. The and new generation are just great. say, wow, this is something amazing, this is a new world, and he's so excited, and I think, okay, maybe I should do a film in VR, because this is new generation asking about it. This is a next This is becoming a, this is a new, th this is yeah, a new big thing. Absolutely. Exactly. But We're you know what? He's never seen yeah. shooting the future, VR yeah. 180. Nice I, think, I think we should show him this te the teaser. Yeah, and, would be, and let would be uh, so everybody yes, see. I, I, I can't wait. What it's like. like. I get to that point. Do I need to take my glasses off? No, no. I can enjoy it. With this one, you can leave it on. I'm going to set this up. Yes, like that. Just that easy. Give it just a second here to power up. All right. Okay. We're going to. Ooh, I'm excited. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I can only imagine you guys must have seen it before, right? Mm -hmm. Because obviously it's your thing. Yes. But for me, oh my God. Yeah. All right, so I've, I've created the, the, the VR space in oh, here. Oh, loading And up. now what I'm gonna do, okay, it's fast. running. Okay. So just go ahead and put that on. <laughs> just like that? Slide this back. Okay. And then you should Jeez. be able to see it now. Oh my God, Anastasia. <laughs> And yeah. Whoa. That's right. There's yeah. nobody, there's nobody else That's here. Right. So that is what it's all about. That's part. Yeah. Now don't give away anything. Yes. No, I'm not. But That's what's part your? Of the teaser. Do you feel like? Do you feel like you're there on, on in that environment with them? I'm like right. I don't want to say. <laughs> that. Oh, oh, I'm like, yeah. right there. I love this I, I, I didn't want to give away That's anything, but I was like, <laughs> you know? Ladies, we have another convert to, oh, to VR. Yeah. So is that it? 
That's just it. Short. Short. Yeah. That's it. It's just a three short thirty second teaser right now. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> I mean, You're our first pussy. That is. I'm the first person. Yeah. That is the yeah. essence yeah. of a I teaser: is to get make it short and make you want oh, more. Yeah, this shit. Is secret. I don't know if it could, that, that if that I could say that. <laughs> but that is that, that is that is my honest reaction. Like shit. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> Look into the camera and say it again. I, I, I think now I can say people will enjoy it. Yes. Oh, people are going to love it. I am you. so thank sure you. about Cheers. it. Cheers. Cheers to that. <laughs> absolutely. 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 Okay. So is it more like an art house film then, if you put it that way? Um, not exactly. What we're trying to aim for with this project, and in general with our future projects as well, because we also have a feature film script, uh, in development right now. Okay. Uh, we're trying to make a bridge. We're we're aiming to make a bridge in between art house films and mainstream films. Uh, we want the well any kind of audience, any kind of person to be able to enjoy this. Not only the David Lynch lovers who we are totally on board with, and not only people who just you know watch some rom coms in the movie right. theater. We want people to like from any kind of background to right. be able to immerse with it and to connect with it. Do you think okay. the kind of people like who will watch it is like the, the, the kind of people who only own a headset in no, order to watch no, you, you need to own a headset in order to watch it or you I can think, enjoy it I think it you, may, you may want to go out and get a headset after you see it without. Well I've seen the trailer I think you would definitely want to get a headset <laughs> after that. I mean, you want to keep it private. But I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the like, whole idea. there. Don't take me out of that. That's the whole idea. <laughs> it's like, it's the, how long is this movie? Can you tell me again? Is it, I hope it's like two hours. You want it more? Something. See, that's great. That if, is the yes. point. You know, they say that if you do point. a teaser and if you, the person gets them watching it says, oh my God, I want to see more. You've done your job. I mean, I went in there without expecting anything, and I and I, I got better than my expectations. So I'm I'm happy. Wow. About it. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm, I'm happy about thing. it. But the thing, thing is, you for coming is, up with a great idea. Olga. You can, you know, you'll be able to watch this on your on your handset. You'll be able to watch it on a tablet. You'll be able to watch it on a PC, on a TV. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. But where you really are going to enjoy this the most is when you become part of the film. And that's what that's what we're aiming to do is I mean, make that, the that audience the be part of the it? film. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So so in order to enjoy that on a phone, how how would that go? Like you can see it. In, it 3D, you're going to see it in two D. Right. Um, and you'll be able to move back and forth to be able to see right. the whole Most set. Right. Most phones can support that, obviously. Every right, phone cool. can support that now. But could you do that on a TV as well? You could. You would have to be hooked up. Probably you'd have to have like a, a smart TV. So in other words, right. uh, Like Android TV or something I mean, like that. You can't have your TV holding in your hand and going all around it. But I mean. You're going to want to be able to move around a little bit, but at the same time, it's centered. And so most of the action is going to take place to where it's going to be in the screen. And we can actually make a 2D cut of the film from the same print. Right. So that way we can create different formats for people to just watch in a 2D format. Sweet. Going back to Olga, would you like to tell us about, like, you know, since you're going to be acting in it as well, right? Yeah. So how, how do you do that? You're directing the film, you're acting in it, you're producing um, the film, you're also acting in it. Well, we actually have very yeah. brief scenes in it. That yeah, are, our right main there. actors are going to be different people. Okay. Um, this is just to come out all the director. Yeah, it's uh, like a cameo. Uh, uh, come out at the same this time, is not something like that. At this. the same time, most all the... Well, we have uh, about 15 actors, including one cat. Yeah. Uh, including a cat. cat. Yes. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, he represents the time. Around. I love pussy but, cats. But, like, um, and no cat like, was harmed during the making of no this. Cat was, right. No animals were harmed during the making of this. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, the, the majority of the cast are playing couples, but at the same time, all these people of different genders, races, nationalities, and speak like, speaking different languages. Uh, they're portraying the same couple. Oh, yeah. The main hero and heroine are just, well, two people. And Olga wrote the script the way that we're transiting from uh, from one, one couple, couple to, to another. another yeah. Is it more like interconnected stories or is it actually one couple being portrayed in different ways? Both. 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 Yeah. Okay, like, interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> 
Let, let's say they could be like same people in different timelines. Alternative universes there and that yeah. kind of stuff. Okay, yeah. that, is, that, that, is, that is an interesting concept, like you know. Time it's thing. more of a it's background of a story than what you actually see in the storyline, but it's mm -hmm. there. It's like it was an old guest hat while she was writing this. Yeah. Is it is this whole film set up in this time space or in the future or in the past? Or, this or, or would you like to talk about it, reality. or is yeah, it up to the audience how they experience it? It's kind of yeah. an alternate reality, though, from what we have here. Yeah. Um, I mean, VR filming, it kind of sounds very futuristic we already. We want people so. to experience it and connect with it the best way that they can. That's why it's kind of left open to your interpretation. Sweet. Although there is a futuristic sense, That's there's true. a game yeah. sense, there's yeah. a fantasy, yeah. there's all of those themes. But we really just want you to connect with the film. That's why there are some things that are just kind of left open. Yeah. That is yes, very good. Yeah. We, we don't want to establish like which place on Earth this is at. But let's say it's in the time frame within plus or minus 10, 15 years from now on. And it's a big city. It's like a modern day Babylon. That's where the storyline yeah. is set. Yeah. I mean, Actually, this is background of the story, Babylon uh, stories about uh, we all start to speak in different languages and stop understanding each other. So. so this is how the story began a couple of thousand yeah. years ago. And, and this is how we transit transiting it into something new because you know the modern day world is becoming in a way more and more connected right um, yeah. people are still united by many cultural and and other other differences yeah exactly and differences yeah. but we're getting back into being like one big society and right. we're kind of this is kind of a, we're mirroring mirroring it we are reflecting what is happening in the modern day world mm -hmm. with the script as well Okay, that's a very sweet way to put it. Anything else you would like to add about this whole, the technical aspects of this thing? I, I just think that, that VR is the perfect vehicle to, to showcase this type of story. I think um, it, it's a unique story, and this is a unique setting to present it in. Nice. Eve, have you ever produced any other films before? Would you like to give us some background story about yourself? Or is yeah. this your first project? No, this Sounds like a very exciting project already. Thank you. So I've actually done a couple of films back in LA, just short films. Um, and yeah, and then, then my other goal was to do something here. But not just that, but to connect Thailand with the US or Asia with the US. And this is this is kind of what we're doing here, you know. So that's part of all the why I'm so into this, this project. <laughs> exactly, the connections. All the whole thing was about nice. connections. When, yeah, when, yeah. when do you think we can we can expect you guys to start shooting? Um, and when do you think we'll be able to see this on the big screen or even the small screen? Um, I think two months. Two from, months. Two months. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're right. planning to shoot at the end of November. Okay. And yeah. by 2019. Of, and by beginning. Yes, of, 2019. Yes. Mm -hmm. And by the beginning of uh, January, we'll have it edited and ready to show. Yeah, yeah. for sure. By yeah. that yeah. is very nice. I'm looking forward to that. I hope yeah. you guys are too. Obviously. Absolutely. <laughs> it was wonderful talking to you guys Thank today. You. Thank yeah. you for being here, uh, letting me know about Thank this amazing you. thing that you guys are working on. I wish you all the best. Yeah. Good luck to you guys. Thank you. And that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. A new beginning of a cinematography. Exactly. Yeah. Thank yes. you. A new step into the future. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good. Amazing, Good. amazing. Thank you guys. Happening now. Happening <laughs> now, yeah. The future is here. Uh -huh. yes. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah.